Okay, great. So I'm walking down the street and I see this sign. I just think it's interesting. It says, the truth is out there. The truth is out there. And uh, I just think that that is uh, emblematic of egoa consciousness is because we're looking for the truth out there. We're looking for happiness and fulfillment out there where the truth is actually here. The truth is inside us. The truth is our natural uh, self, our na you know, our divine self. The truth is here. It's all an inside job. But we're conditioned to think that that it's it's out here it's out here and this is the conundrum that or the difficulty m most people have when they go on the spiritual path is because they're they're searching for truth out there and they don't they don't re realize or recognize that it's here that you can only find your eternal self here here right and it's in everyone. And it's all, I mean, in truth, the eternal truth, the eternal now, is, is here, is everything, is everything. Is the emptiness and form, it's everything. But to experience it and to live from it, it, it it's here. We, we can't, we don't live from the eternal now, we, you know, from, from another, right, outside of us. So it's, it's, it's here. So I just thought that sign was very emblematic of how uh, egoic consciousness, and then even spiritual materialism, we could keep on thinking or keep on, I mean, spiritual practices are important, but sometimes we could get fixated on them and still be outside like oh if I do this external outside spiritual practice I'm going to become enlightened or awakened but it's it's here it's here it's here all right so and this is the music of our life right it's beautiful so I don't know I'm just gonna walk and see what comes by here you know Kind of do a little walking meditation. See what, uh, see if I see anything. Oh, I like that sign over there. Walk up front. <laughs> Look both ways. We belong together. I love that sign. I know, we belong together, so we'll see this. Yeah, so life goes on. Life goes on. It's a meditation. Life goes on. That's the sign that I'm... I'm gonna go over there and see what that's about. But yeah, the truth is out. The truth is in here. So the sign... So the... the, the so the spiritual sign is, is, is the truth is in here, right? So that's a good meditation. The meditation is stop looking outside, going for the external and go within. Meditate, be present, right? <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, actually this is a great this is a great cartoon. You see that? I don't care what they say. I know we belong together, right? And she's kissing death, right? Or a symbolic of death. And she also has a tear. So this is my spiritual interpretation of this. When you go on the spiritual path, I don't care what anybody says, I'm surrendering to my higher self, to the 
the divine, the eternal now. So, because I know we belong together. I know that I am one with source. I know that, that I need to die, right? Connect, I need to die before I die. I need to die to the ego. So you need to have an ego death. So there's the kissing of death. And it's, it tears, it's painful, it's painful. The ego death is painful, it's not easy. That's why a lot, it's hard to go on this journey. But then you awaken, you awaken and you deepen and you, you, you find the peace that passes understanding, right? So I love this. I don't care what they say, I, I, don't, I don't care. Because you get sick of the insanity of ego consciousness. You're like, screw it. I don't care what what they say or my friends or, or the, you know, this ego consciousness is saying. I know that I belong, that the merging between you and your truth, and then you merge, right? You merge and then you become one. And then once you integrate th this, everything is one. So there, there's there's no... God, as Ram Das says, God, guru, and self is a, everybody is the same, right? It's all one, right? And then I love this. So you go through the awakening, and then it's all about love, right? You see that across the street, love. Let's see if I can. That's what it's all about love. The eternal love of the now moment. Yeah. And then I said, yeah, to me, right? I'm gonna go. Love, right? So you get, you awaken. I don't care. You merge, and then you. This is it. This is where you. you this is where you live from. And I just love it because there's it's me. It's on musical. It's 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 the song. So. You, your life becomes a song of love in the key of love, right? I think that's a uh, Stevie Wonder song or a Stevie Wonder in songs in the key of life, but now it's a key of love and it's this unconditional love. This isn't egoic love that a lot of love songs and a lot of songs about love is egoic, like it's conditional. Right. Egoic love is conditional. It's like if you do this, if if as long as you're acting this way, then I love you. As long as you, I love you. No, it's unconditional love. Right. So get excited. Get excited. See that sign. Get excited about being in love. Being and be open open to the now I love it open to the now and adventures are to come if yes when you get on the spiritual path adventures happen wild adventures things that you don't even know they're gonna happen yeah I love it I love it I love it Yeah, so we continue this meditation of love. I'm walking to the uh, hike place area of Seattle. Just seeing what's, what's around, what's around. Uh, Yeah, so you just, you're just one with everything. Oh, this is cool. Let's see if I could sneak across. Oh, look at this. 
Yeah, so. Look at that. In the now. So now is later. So I would actually say now is now. There is no later. Now is now. There is no later. Couple therapy. It's okay to go through therapy. You know. Come back to me. I love that. You know, Rumi, that one of my favorite Rumi quotes is the one who brought me here has to take me home. So take me home. Country roads. We got haha, <laughs> the party's over. It's okay now. I have two. Oh. I'm trying to just look here and see what the any spiritual stuff in here but the party's over I don't know the party's just begun right you awaken the party's begun you know you might go through a stage for a serious spiritual person serious spirit and I and you can't enjoy life no no it's life in this 3d it's fine to enjoy it you don't have to go crazy, but it's, you know, this is, you're, you're in this form, right? So enjoy this. So I'm just looking. Sorry. Yeah. Now. So now, now is now. I would just, I would change that. Now is now. The eternal now is now. But we, in the, when we out in ego consciousness, where it's like later, it's like the future. We're always futuring, right? We're living in this e constant future and past, right? For many, many years, I lived upset about the past and worried about the future. So, as you awaken, you that dissipates. As you deepen, where this is the only thing that matters. This is the only thing. Virginia. So virgin pure, virgin here symbolizes the pure now moment. That this is a new now moment. Right? This is just a a new now moment. There's a the sound or the uh, Puget sound. The virgin now moment. Natural home. So you go back to your natural home. It's natural. It's just the peace and the joy. It's just natural. It just emanates naturally. You don't have to force it. You don't have to say, "Hey, I, I'm, I'm peaceful. I'm trying to create peace, right? I'm trying to create joy." It's just natural. It just like a like a spring, just naturally bubbles up peace and everything. Yeah. So yeah. So let's see. See what comes up. Beautiful day in Seattle, the summer of July, mid July 2023. Yeah, so as you awaken and as you integrate, there's a natural armistice, okay? Because you're at conflict with life. You're at conflict with, with others, right? Enemies, the ego creates enemies, right? So you, you naturally have an armistice. You naturally put up the what? Well, it's hard. I mean, you feel that pull, but the ego continues to, to uh, I'm at war, I'm at war. You know, I, I gotta fight, I gotta fight. So 
but by and by you just start putting up the flag you don't want to play these these games anymore you don't want to play these you, you don't want to play these uh, egoic games of fighting and war right you see how silly they are so there's an armistice I love it uh -huh. oh. Oh yeah, so I love it. So this is what happens. So you continue to to be present and see that sign across the street, free people, see right there? So that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. It's being free, you're free. You become a free being, right? I'll get, a, I'll get across the street here in a second. You become a free being. Look at all that. Got more, more people around here because I'm getting closer to the pike market. But... Uh, and then you become free. You become a free person, free people. I love it. Liberation, liberation. This is, because then you're just a, you're just present. You're just here in the world of form. There's, you know, no judgment, no sticking, no, no, no anger or, you know, social media and the news. It's all geared towards being in prison, in prison of the ego, right? This is a nice thing, live simply too. So you, and then you live simply, right? You, you, it's just, ah, life is simple. I mean, it's, it's, uh, there's a beauty about life because there's a lot of complexity, but in essence, as you awaken, it's just simple. You live simply, you just live, ha, ah, ah. So. All right, so I'm getting close to the market here. So I'm gonna go down and see what that's all about. But that was a fun little walk. So we, 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 we began this journey on the truth is out there, but we know that the truth is in here. The truth is here, right here. And when you can become true, when you live from your truth, you become a free, you become free, you become liberated. And life is simple. All right. Love you. And until we meet again next time in the simple, free, beautiful now moment.